Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.43 from study book. So the question is find the Thevenin equivalent looking into terminals AB of the circuit in figure 4.110 and solve for IX. So we are need to find out the Thevenin equivalent at this not here AB. But first we need to find out two things to get Thevenin equivalent circuit. The first one is to find PTH, which is the open circuit voltage at AB. So VAB, which is VA minus VB. However, this has to be in open circuit. But here it is not open circuit. We have a 6 ohm resistor in it. So we just need to replace this 6 ohm with an open circuit first okay so now let's do exactly that so this is our open circuit terminals there a and b so we need to find out what is a and what is b right so what can we do from here uh, let's start by using this bottommost node here as our ground so the voltage here is equal to zero and then if this voltage is equal to zero then this node here is equal to 20 volt and so we can use KCL to do node A here first we need to do KCL at node A Okay, what does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one. So we'll have 20 minus VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 10. Okay, and that will equal to, we'll have VA minus 0, which is VA divided by 10. Multiply both sides by 10. So we cancel out the denominator. So we'll have 20 minus VA is equal to VA. So 2VA is equal to 20. Therefore, VA is equal to 10. Okay, the unit is volt here. Good, we now have the one value that needed, which is VA here. And the next value that we need to find out is PV. Again, we can use KCL, but this time at node B. KCL at node B. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one. So I will have 2 ampere from there. So I have 2. And that will equal to, this current is going out here. And that will be Vb minus 0, which is Vb, divided by 5. Okay, we can just multiply both sides by 5. So we'll have 10 is equal to Vb, or Vb is equal to 10 volt. Okay, and then what can we do from here? We can have the VTH from here. So VTH is equal to VA minus VB, which is equal to 10 minus 10. So we'll have our VTH is equal to 0 volt. Okay, let's put it into the box and highlight it because this is a really important value here. Good. Now, we need to find out the resistance here. So we need to find out the Thevenin resistance from this point. So the second step is to find out the RTH which is the resistance seen from this point. 
but with the voltage turn off so we will need to replace the voltage source here by short circuit okay so we will have this one here and then we also need to replace the the current source here with open circuit okay that is good and so we can find out the rth what is rth rth is the resistance seen from this point here and we see from here it is 10 parallel with 10 okay 10 parallel with 10 and then plus it is in series with this 5 ohm so i will have 5 okay so now let's replace this with arithmetic notation 10 multiplied by 10 divided by 10 plus 10 and then plus 5 so we'll have 100 divided by 20 so we'll have 5 plus 5 therefore we will have the thevenin resistance is equal to 10 ohm let's put this into a box so we can have the thevenin equivalent circuit let's draw the thevenin equivalent circuit which we will have zero volt here so we will have zero volt and then we will have uh no not that we will have a 10 volt i mean 10 ohm here and this is not a and this is not b so this is the thevenin equivalent circuit but remember in the not a b here in the terminal a b we we have this 6 ohm resistor right so here we have that 6 ohm resistor so we have 6 ohm and we need to find out ix so we'll have ix from here ix okay what can we do from here yeah i think we can just use uh, ohm's law from here so ix ix is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance the voltage is zero but the direction coming from negative side so i will have minus zero and then divided by six plus n six plus n and therefore we will have ix is equal to zero and i think that is all for this question so we will have the answer this is the equivalent thevenin zero and ten ohm and then ix is 0 ampere hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation see you in the next video bye bye